All right, so I wanted to create a video uh, to show how to customize your interface in Cinema 4D. So I've loaded up the very default um, Cinema 4D scene uh, or uh, layout, and let's get to customizing it. So there's a few things that I personally like to do. Um, first is I want the material panel um, over on this side. Um, but there's not a whole lot of room for it right now. So I like to stack some of this stuff. So the attributes, um, I move to the right of the objects panel. So to do that, um, you have to click these three little lines and drag it over to the right. And you see that little line on the far right side? You click and drag. Uh, now you see you have more room. So let's make this a little bit wider so we can see those attributes. Now you want to move some of these things too because they're kind of connected. You might need layers when you're clicking on something. Um, so you drag that over here and just hover again over the three three lines on the attributes and it puts it in the same area. Um, so do that with structure too. And I want layers back over so you can drag these by clicking and then hovering over the tab and just moves it to the front of the tab structure. So if you want to reorganize those, uh, it's pretty straightforward. So now we can move our materials panel over and we'll put it down below everything. You'll notice the three lines or the, the little lines at the very bottom. Um, so now we have that. And I also want the position data uh, below in between these two sections here. So let's do that. So now we have our position data below. So when you click on something, you'll see the position data right there. Very easy to correlate. Um, so that's that's pretty good. Um, I like this. There's a few other things I like to put over here. Uh, since I use Octane, I like the, the node editor near where the materials are at all times. So let's open the live viewer window. Um, before I do anything else, I like to dock this. Uh, to the left of my viewport. So again, click those three lines and move it over here. So now you have it docked next to your viewport. Very handy. Let's open up our node editor by clicking on materials and open the node editor. And then you can then click and drag it over here and it creates a new tab structure. So now you have your materials and node editor. Something that's also useful to have uh, when you're you know, working and doing animation is your timeline. So I want my uh, F-curve sheet um, and I'm going to move that over here in this same tab grouping. So now I have my materials, Octane Node Editor, and timeline F-curves uh, in this grouping. So this is really handy. The reason I like the materials over here is so like when you're editing the materials, you don't have to drag them from over here to up here to an object you can just click and it's it's less mouse movement. Um, so usually when you're working with something like Octane, there's a bunch of Octane specific objects that you want to add to your scene. So the first thing I like to create is a new panel. So we're going to go to customization and create a new palette. So now we have this empty palette. Okay. And we're going to drag that between the material panel and those so you'll see it's empty. Um, so to add Octane stuff in there, you want to go to Window and then Customization and then Customize Menus and it'll open up, um, actually that's not it, Windows, Customization, Customize Commands. So this is where you can search for any command in Cinema including Octane stuff. So if you just type in Octane you'll see uh, Octane specific objects show up here. So first we're going to create a camera and just drag it over to this empty palette. You'll notice the camera icon shows up. Then I want the, the uh, area light. Uh, then I want the daylight. Then let's get some materials in here too. So diffuse, glossy, um, where's specular, specular, uh, metallic and if you like the mixed material you can create you can drag the one over there too um, I use octane scatter a lot so you put octane scatter in there too 
um, and then you can put in your octane fog volume. So um, one other one that's part of cinema but also correlates to uh, octane is the HDRI environment. So I like to put that between the light and this. Um, and I usually click this if I want to add an HDRI to the scene very quickly. Um, if you don't like the size of these icons, all you have to do is right click and then go to icon size. And I like the medium icons. It makes them a little smaller. So now when you, when you click one of these, it automatically creates that object. Um, some other things that I also like to add to this is the sculpting tools. So again, we want to go to customization, customize commands, and I want the brush, uh, sculpting brush. So let's do the move. Uh, I think it's sculpt. Yeah, it's move or grab. That's what it is, grab. So I like grab. Uh, I'm going to put that. I like it over here. You can put it wherever you want, though. Um, and then I want... Um, smooth. So type in SMO and then you find smooth and you drag it over here. Another one is reset position. Let's see where it is. They changed it in uh, in in R or S24 to something different. I think it's reset transform. And I put that over here just because that's where I like it. Um, so th what this does is like it resets the position of an object relative to its parent. So if you wanted to move an object into an, uh, a null and then position that null, um, or you position that null and then you want to position the object to that null and zero it out, you just click that button and it's, it like centers it. Or if you want to reset it to world origin, you can click this button. Um, I'll show you what it does. So you click like, like, like this eye. Um, I have these eyes selected if I want to change where they are. So click that, and it resets it to world origin. My world origin's in a weird spot in this scene, so it didn't move much. But that's that's what that does. All right, so now you want to save this as your default scene, right? So to do this, you go to, again to Windows, or Window Customization, Save Layout As, and then you can name it. Um, so let's just save it as uh, New Octane layout and then enter to save and then you want it to save it as your default layout so you do customization and then save as startup layout now boom you'll have all of this saved as your scene um, for when you start a new file um, and it'll load up exactly this layout and, and you can change whatever you want uh, you can add things, remove things, whatever you want, but this is what I like. It's it's worked really well for me. Um, sometimes I want to turn off the live viewer and I can just close this and then you can, you know, redock it uh, later, but that's basically what I like to do. Hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next video.